My name is Steve Wilson with Cold Jet. We are the Global Business Unit Director for Plastics, Rubber, and Composites. This week we're at Sampy in Long Beach, California. We're demonstrating our solutions for those people in the composites industry who want to clean dry, non-abrasive, and have no secondary waste. The process begins with our environmentally clean and surface preparation systems, commonly called a blaster. This machine's already been hooked up with plants and compressed air. We've got the 110 electric hooked up. From there, the magic begins with just taking the actual dry ice, the CO2. You're about to see the process of how we're going to shave this CO2. There are three things that this dry ice will accomplish on the substrate. It's going to create, we'll use the acronym ICE to talk about what it's going to create, impact, cold, and expansion. On impact, that kinetic energy will be created of the dry ice particle at a high velocity. It's also very cold. The contaminant on this mold is different from the substrate, so it'll embrittle it. Coefficient thermal expansion contracts into some of the materials. And then on impact, the dry ice will sublimate. It will expand about 800 times in size on impact. Let me show you how the process looks like on a, uh, a board that's actually made of composites. We clean a lot of things in composites the tooling, the mandrels, usually of sacrificial mold release agents. Sometimes it's the actual resin buildups on there. It could be tape from a bagging application. In this case, we're, we've uh, simulated with a grease pencil or a china marker, the sacrificial mold release agent on an actual composite part. So in this case, we could either be cleaning it as a, as a, as a tooling substrate or cleaning it, getting ready to bond it to another piece of uh, composite. The machine is active, ready to go. Follow along as you'll see that impact of ice, impact cold expansion. Of the That's how we clean tooling in the composites industry. People are doing it for basically five basic reasons. One, you want to extend the asset life of this tool. You don't want to damage it by cleaning on it with a traditional abrasive method. Two, you're going to increase productivity because you just saw it's much faster than traditional methods, so you improve productivity. Thirdly, you're going to improve quality. There's no solvent residues left behind. If you want to be bonding this, I didn't leave any chemical residues behind. Fourthly, it's going to lower cost. The acquisition of the equipment and the dry ice itself is less expensive than a lot of cleaning chemicals. Lastly, the fifth point would just be a better environment. You get rid of the VOCs from those cleaning compounds. This is an envir environmentally friendly way to do it. We're having a blast down here in Long Beach. Come on over and see us. We're in the G Hall, uh, the A Hall, the G aisle of uh, Sampy Show. Come on by and have a blast with us. See you soon.